Web clips are a great way to bring in live internet websites into your Notability Notes. If you tap on the plus sign at the top of the screen, it'll bring you to the media toolbar. If you tap web clip, it's going to tell you what you need to do. So to add a web clip, you can drag and drop or paste it from Safari. So I'm going to show you both options. So first, let's look at drag and drop. So I'm going to go to Safari or you can tap on that link and it will take you directly to Safari. Um, what we're going to start off with is uh, this website. So I'm going to open up one of these articles. And um, from here, there's two ways that I can get this into Notability. I can copy that link. I'm going to tap on the URL bar and then tap again so it's all selected and tap copy. And then I'm going to go back to Notability and I'm going to paste that link. All that simply is going to do is give me a um, embedded link that I could um, tap on and copy, open it directly, or I can create a web link from here. So I'm going to choose open so you see what that looks like. Again, it just goes right back to that website. Or if I were to choose, tap on it and choose create a web clip, what it's going to do is open up a preview screen of that website. And then if I scroll, anything that is shown in this box, that's what's going to show in my notes. So I'm going to choose to show this part of the article and I'm going to tap save. And when I do, it's going to paste that in as an image. The difference in doing this and doing, say, a screenshot is that now, if I tap on it again, what I can do is I can go to Edit Clip, and I could change my selection and tap Save, and it's gonna update what that preview is. So basically, it's a live screenshot um, from the website. So I'm gonna go back and choose the Part of the article and tap save and then what I can do is I can come in here and I can annotate this document uh, circle highlight draw whatever it is I need to do and if I tap on it I can now move that web clip around on the screen and my annotations stay with it so it's a little different than doing a, a screenshot into the document so the other option that you have to get a web clip in is with drag and drop. So what I'm going to do is up at the top of my screen, I have my multitasking options. I'm going to tap on those and I'm going to tap on the middle one so that they're side by side. And then I'm going to pick Safari to be my side by side option. And then from here, what I'm going to do is tap on that web link again. And now I'm going to push and hold and I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it into my Notability document. And then you'll see it brings up the web clip preview screen. So I'm gonna to go to the bottom of the document so you can see the difference. I'm gonna tap save and it adds in that web clip. Another way that you can drag and drop is if you open that uh, document, again, push and hold on that link. If you start dragging down to the bottom where the taskbar is and swipe up so you open up your taskbar, and then come drag on top of Notability. Notice it flashed. And then again, I can drop it into my Notability note. Make my selection on what I want the web clip to look like. Tap Save. And there is my web clip again. Web clips are a great way to bring in um, live websites into your Notability notes. A little different than just doing a screenshot or exporting from Safari. Safari.